What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're gonna farm old content but it's gonna be newer content than what you're used to on this channel. So before we go into the details in the farm I do want to mention that you guys can still pick up my book the zero to 10 million gold guide. It's a book that I made over a year ago and it contains the best gold farms that I personally use to acquire multiple gold caps. I've also used all of these methods on low pop realms, medium pop realms, uh, full pop realms, like all of the populated realms. Uh, I've used all of these tactics and I've made multiple gold caps. So using code Shadowlands, you can get the book for 50% off. Now it's going to be linked down below in the description, but also at the pinned comments. So the farm that we're going to be talking about today is farming for epic items in Legion raids, actually. So the items that we're looking for is going to be, uh, is it called Fell Inferno or Inferno Flame? Like you can just search on your realm. Well, I'm going to search for Epic Shoulders. They're quite easy to find. There we go. The Fell Flame Inferno Shoulder Pads. Now there's going to be some people watching this that are going to be pissed because we're making millions of gold on these. But they're really badass, really in demand. Like, how often do you see an item worth 700,000 gold have a 0 0.02 sell rate? It doesn't happen very often. These shoulders, they look like this. They do have a different color. Like, these are like these green balls. Uh, but you have them in different color depending on the difficulty that you do uh, the raids on when you get them. So they're from Antrus, the Burning Throne in Legion. So what I usually do is I do normal, heroic, and mythic, uh, like the raid itself. And once you're done with that, you can just go over to Dalaran right here at the Violet Hold. And you can talk to this dude and you can just sign up for uh, Antrus the Burning Troll, like the vision of the, the Light's Breach. Once you've done that, you can pop in and you can do this as many times as you wish. Just do it over and over again, do the wing and like teleport out, reset dungeon, queue up again. It's absolutely great. So I do have this uh, this video that I can show you guys of how it's done. It, pretty much, it's really easy. My druid has horrible gear. I mean, this LFR. My shitty druid can even do this on the mythic, like killing the trash uh, and the first boss. No biggie. But just pull up the first uh, packs of mobs before the first boss, kill them. If you see like the glowiness on the bodies, like there's loot on the mobs, that's really good because they don't always drop loot. So uh, I, it always gets me super excited when I see uh, the sparkliness on the body and I know there's loot on it, but usually it's just gray items. <laughs> uh, but kill this ad right here and then you kill the boss. It's going to take me some time to kill the boss because I got absolutely horrible gear, as I said. But it's super easy to kill him. He doesn't do any damage. Uh, it just takes some time to get him down on my shit tune at least. But you guys probably have way higher item level than me. But once you've killed him, you just got to go down uh, like to the left of the boss. There's like this hill thingy that you can go down. And there's going to be even more mobs. I don't usually kill him at this spot because there's going to be more mobs further in. And these um, allied mobs right down there, they're not going to attack the mobs and help you. So you can easily pull them together. Uh, like right where you are at right now, or where I'm at, there's going to be these bats that I'm uh, showing you guys right here. There's going to be bats in the roof that you definitely want to pull down. You want to kill every single like it pack that you can when you're doing this because there's not that many mobs. So just AOE them down and nice and simple. As I said, they don't deal any damage. Once you're done with that and you've killed these guys, you loot them up and then you go down and you kill this boss. Now this boss, when you do it on normal, heroic and mythic, can actually drop a mount. So that's pretty cool if you don't have that mount. But just get these guys super easy to kill. These guys go down faster than the first boss. Then you click the beacon thingy and it's going to send you off to uh, another location where there's going to be a couple of ads. And uh, once you get these ads down, you get to uh, like this elevator thingy and that's where you just want to leave the, uh, the raid and just sign up again and rinse and repeat. Now if you do it on normal, heroic and mythic, uh, there's going to be more mobs to kill. You have other options. There's no areas that's going to be locked off because you're in a certain wing. Uh, but it's pretty much just killing the first and second boss and then clearing all the trash and then going in and out. 
and then you have a chance at getting uh like i showed you the shoulders the shoulders is not the only epic item though of value there is more epic items as well it's just that the shoulders is the big ticket item they're a part of a lot of popular transmog sets for like monks and rogues and so on so uh definitely worth giving uh, a try at farming uh like the uh Antrus, what's it called Antrus, the burning uh the burning throne so go ham at it boys that's it for today's video if you decide to do give it a go let me know if you get the shoulders and that's it for now. I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.